Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. So we have now to speak about the prefix lens that is available on IP version 6. So as you know, on IP version 4, when we say, for example, 192.168.1.0, which has subnet mask of 255.255.255.0, then you know that 192.168.1 is the uh, network. And then the last uh, octet that we have is the host. Okay. So the, we have similar things uh, on IP version six, but it's a little bit more difficult. So that's why I decided to do a lecture to explain to you about it. So let's uh, look at uh, this IP version six that we have here, 2001, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and so forth until here slash 64. So someone has this IP address, then he will say, okay, which part of this IP address is the network and which part is the host? Okay, so this is defined by what is called the prefix length. And over here is slash 64. So we know that uh, I have already explained to you that we have uh, an IP version 6, we have eight hexed. And each hexed, so this one is an hexed, 2001. This is the first one, which is here. So each hexed is represented by hexadecimal. So two is in hexadecimal here, and it's not a decimal. Zero is hexadecimal, zero is hexadecimal, and one is hexadecimal. So we know that each one hexadecimal makes four bits. For example, two is four bits, zero is four bits on binary, zero here is four bits on binary, zero is four bits on binary. So four plus four plus four plus four. So we have 16 bits in binary. So each hexed is representing by 16 bits in binary. So when we say 16 bits in binary and we have in total eight hexed, so 16 times eight, this will give us 128. So that's what I was saying always that IP version six is a 128 bit in binary again. And if you want, I can just show you directly on the calculator. If we make 16 times eight, then we have 128. So it's very important to remember that each hexed is 16 bit in binary. So why we need to know that? Because when they provide you here slash 64, which is the prefix lens here, then here we know how many bits in binary we need to count that is for the network and how many bits in binary we need to count that is for the host. So for example, if they say for us, all right, do you have this IP version six address, which part is the prefix and which part is the host? So this is the prefix lens we have 64. So now we have to start counting that, okay, the first hexed is 16 bit. So 16 plus 16, that is the second hexed, then that is 32. Plus 16, that is 48, plus 16, that's 64. That's exactly the same as we have here. So that means that the first four hexed, they are called the prefix or what we know them on IP version for the network. All right, so that means up to here, that is the prefix. And anything which comes after that is the host. So you can see that is the host. All right, so now we know what is the prefix and what is the host. But you know, when you have, for example, on IP version four, again, 192.168.1.1 slash 24. So you say, which is the network? So you know that these are the network. So to rewrite the network here, you will say that my network is for this IP 192.168.1.0, right? So slash 24. So this define your network. Same on IP version six. If you want to define the prefix, which is the network, then in this case, what you need to do, you have to put for the host, all those zeros, like we have done here. We have put a zero here for IP version four. Then in this case, the representation of uh, this uh, uh, IP version six as a prefix now, it is what? This one, which is the prefix, and then all those zeros. But we know that if we have consecutive uh, zeros, we can change them and we can put in place of them colon, colon. So at the end, this is how the prefix will look like. 2001, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then colon, colon, and then slash 64. So slash 64 will define for us the prefix that we have. So I hope that you get now the idea because this 
over here you can change it because that's uh, that's the host and then we are going to see about the other thing later so uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, information to speak about the, how this address can come from the mac address so that's something we are going to speak about it actually in this section but for now i just want to explain to you how you can get out the prefix uh, for your ip version 6 address so then in this case this ip version 6 address belongs to this prefix all right, so let's now do some labs to see if, if we can get out the prefix of uh, other IP version 6 address, as we know now about the theory. All right, so we have this uh, uh, now uh, a lab that we need to do. Find the prefix for the following IP version 6 address. 2001, colon, colon, 1234, colon, 5678, colon, ABCD, colon, EF12, colon, 1234, slash 64. Okay, so here it's uh, clear what we need to do. First thing is that I really advise you to do is to uh, put here the zeros because we have colon colon. Then the presentation of this one would be 2001. And then let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means we have two hexed of zeros. So we make 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That's represent the colon colon. And then 1, 2, 3, 4 five six seven eight and then a b c d and e f one two and then one two three four slash sixty four excellent so now we have the full representation of this ip version six now they said it is slash sixty four so remember this is sixteen sixteen plus 16, that's 32. So each hexed is 16 bit, plus 16, that's 48, plus 16, that's 64. So over here, this is the prefix. All right, so the rest here are all zeros, correct? So everything here is zero. Now, how can we make the prefix looks like? We have all zeros here, and we have here also consecutive zeros. So remember, that you cannot make uh, the uh, consecutive zeros two times in one IP address. So what I'm going to do now is that, because at the end all zeros, so that means it will finish by the, uh, the colon, colon, and those one will be represented by zero. So how this IP address will look like, at the end it will look something like this, 2001, that is the prefix actually, and then colon, zero, colon, so this represents this one, and then this one is zero, colon one two three four and then all those are zeros so at the end is colon colon and then slash 64. you see so this is now how the prefix looks like because we do have at the end all those uh, zeros so there are consecutive uh, zeros so in this case what i can do i can replace them by colon colon and i make slash 64 but because i made them colon colon over here those one, I cannot make them also colon colon, so I just replace them by zero and zero. So this is how it looks like this prefix. So now let's uh, do one more lab, which is a little bit more difficult to see what would be the prefix for one more difficult uh, IP address. So we have this IP address and at the end it's saying is slash 53. Wow. So slash 53 and we need to find out what is the prefix. So as we always do, so let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So those are eight full hexed. All right. So the first one is 16. The second one is 16. 16 plus 16, 32. The third one is 16. So that's we have 48. And now that means the 53 is something on this hexed. The five, six, seven, eight. So let's take this hexed and let's see what we need to do. So I will take this hexed, which is five, six, seven, eight. So we have in total now 48 bits, which are here from the prefix. And that means we still have to have to take five bits to be able to do 53 because 48 plus five give us 53. So to take the five bits, let's convert this one from the hexadecimal to decimal. So five will looks like, if you know, we have one, 
two, four, eight. Those are the bits. First bit is one, second two, the, the third is four, and this one is eight. So the first one, five, is represented by one, zero, one, zero. Correct? So that's how it looks. Now, this is five. Six is represented by zero, one, one, zero. So now we said we only need to have five more uh, bits, okay? But before I do that, let me just show you, if in case you don't know how to convert from the hexadecimal, just open your calculator. And uh, from your calculator, you can uh, go here and make it programmer. And let's uh, put, for example, on decimal, 5 will give me on binary, or let's put it here, on hexadecimal, 5, on hexadecimal will give me on binary 1010. Zero, zero. You see, this is the binary, 1010. Zero, one, actually, I'm counting from right, so if you count from left, 0101. Zero, one, zero, one. Now, on the hexadecimal, 6 will give me... 0110 zero, one, one, zero. so you see 0110 zero, one, one, zero. so in case you don't know how to convert from hexadecimal to the uh, binary so uh, that's uh, how you can do that all right so now we said that we still need five bits to be able to make slash 53 correct so that means these are the first five bits that i want to take them this one zero one zero one zero correct that means if we make it like this because we have four bits for one hexed so that means we have here five and here because those will go for the host that means will be zero 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 all of them then we have also zero so in this case what will be the representation of uh, this uh, prefix so it's gonna be like this two zero zero one those are fixed. One, two, three, four. And then A, B, C, D. Those are fixed, we said, right? And then this one, we, we checked on this one. And we have found that it needs to be five. And then the rest is zero, 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 zero. And then the rest is the host. So that means we have here colon, colon, and then slash 53. So this is the representation of uh, the prefix for this IP version 6 address. So in brief, I just uh, explained to you in this lecture about how you can find out the prefix if you have an IP version 6 and you have slash something. So how you can find what is the prefix of this uh, IP version 6 IP address. And then uh, I have showed you with the two uh, labs that I showed you how you can get the prefix, especially the one which has slash 53. I showed you how you can do that. So please, if you can repeat those two labs yourself and try it yourself, and then you already have the answer, then uh, you will see if you have the right answer, then in this case, you have understood exactly my explanation. So this is what I wanted to show you in this lecture. I hope it was informative for you and I will see you in the upcoming lecture.